to show you my airing cupboard. I did actually show it um, previously when I decluttered and reorganised it. And I just wanted to show you an update and how it is actually holding up. At the top there in this green box, I keep all my cushion covers. Um, I've said this before, what I tend to do is, because I can't change furniture around, I change my furnishings around regularly. So what I tend to do is, is use the same cushion pads, but change all the cushion covers. So in that box, it's all different um, cushion covers for different seasons. Then at the back here, I do have another crate and that has um, Christmas cushions in. Mostly the ones that are different um, sizes and everything, different to the normal pads. And of course I have a couple of extra cushions here. These wire containers I got from B&M, it just gives you extra um, sort of storage onto the shelves and I've got quite a few. Sorry about that, I've decided to put my light on so hopefully it's a bit more brighter. So in the first one I keep like um, new tea towels that haven't been used. Down here is like um, hand towels um, that I use like in the cloakroom and that. And sometimes occasionally I have one in the bathroom if we have guests staying over. And then this one is like a round, um, more of a, a beachy um, towel that's actually Harry Potter. This I've shown you in my um, Think Out the Box and I keep my bath sheets here and I keep the swimming towels. Then this one, what I've done is I've put two here. I've put this one and then I've hung a second one underneath. So here comes all the um, flannels um, and I've got some spare oven gloves there. This one is, I keep dusters, though I don't really use them because I use dust wipes and some spare um, dishcloths. So then we go down a little bit further and in this basket I keep my, what I call my holiday tea towels and everything and flannels. So I've got some here, quite a few of these have actually come from America from family members. And then I've got these Halloween ones. I got these from TK Maxx. And I've got quite a few um, Christmassy ones. And I believe it was last Christmas that I actually got a lot with the red truck on from um, Home Bargains. I've also got Christmas oven gloves, everything in there. And underneath um, I've got, as you can see, more towels and some brand new ones. I got quite a few of these because I wasn't sure whether they would come back in the year. I got some spare um, bath mats there for the bathroom. In here, is, in this basket, I've got all my internal bow um, napkins because as I said, I had quite a lot of this um, years ago for my wedding. And then underneath, I've got other napkins. In this basket, I've got the Christmas napkins. I've got a lot of these cream with the Christmas tree on. Then I've got a lot of these red ones with the uh, reindeer on. And then I've got the pl um, plain red ones. Now I will say I buy a lot of those sort of things, as I keep saying, after the season. Um, the only thing I think I've paid quite a bit for is these two tea towels here, which I got from TK Maxx. I think, if I remember rightly, they were like five ninety nine for a pair of tea towels, which to me is quite a lot what I normally pay, but it was the only um, place I could find some Halloween tea towels. Underneath, on this little, um, like, table shelf thing, I got these, I got two of them. And they were four ninety nine each from home uh, from B and M. Sorry, and it just gives a little bit of shelving. So when any time I have to have my boiler serviced, which is behind there, I literally have to just pull out all the racks and the boxes, baskets, and then these two shelves. So I'm not just dumping things. I just pull it all out, and then it's easy to put back. So in here I have um, a couple of tablecloths. Um, table runners and that sort of thing and then I have extra mats here and dry mats a lot of these are like 
like that orange one is Halloween. I've got some Christmas ones, they're Christmas. And then, like I said, drying mats there. And that's my um, pink mat down the bottom. So I have organized this um, some time ago, and I did share it when I did actually reorganize it and decluttered. And it's definitely worked, as you can see. So I'm really pleased how it's turned out. And everything seems to stay near enough in the right places, which is a good way to know that something is actually working. So once again, I just wanted to come on and sort of refresh and re-show you and share what has worked in our home, which definitely this has. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.